for what you give to me. I will not ask for any of it. What I would like is that house outright as mine and Gemma's so I can have a family and I can live in the house that it would have been what my dad would have wanted if he thought I wanted it. He would have wanted to care for me. That house has so much significance to me. It does for you too, but it's literally the only building in my life that's been there the whole time and it matters to me. And it matters to me that what dad did comes across to help me now, you know, because he loved me and I never lied to him other than these things he'd made me do. And it breaks my heart that he made me. So what I'm saying is, you have all of that, all that money, I never asked for again, fine, have it. I'm also saying that if I ever were to sell that house during your lifetime, I would give you the sum total of the value of this flat as we value it when we have it valued now. It will be about £120,000. So if you sell... If, I say, if, I, if, if the house which would be outright mine you'd sign a thing saying that it's mine but I would sign a thing not saying that you own that chunk of the house but saying if I ever sell it in your lifetime I agree to pay you the total value of what this flat is now when we have it valued which is going to be about 120 grand bear in mind I'm only going to get about 60 grand out of it if I sell it okay so, so where what would that be inheritance tax well, we will find a way of agreeing that between you, but you also have to factor in Edinburgh you also have to factor in we do have to give some money to Freya because it's what dad wanted but the point is there's, you know, we will Why work didn't Dad give money to Freya when he gave Brenda money then? No, but he didn't. He didn't. Don't please, please don't start changing that one as well. You know, oh, he, act- he actively phoned me up when he was in the midst of his illness, saying, "Would you mind if I did that?" And I said, "No, of course I don't mind. We mm. have to do." I mean, if I have to do it out of my share because you don't want to, I will. Because the point is, it has to happen. But the point is, whatever you get out of this is going to be more than you've had. Okay. And also, I would like to have security of a home, and I would like it to be that home. I don't want us to have to sell that home, because the best we can agree on is that we split it down the middle and that's it. And something that has been part of that family and my family, my roots, forever, has to go. When I've actively said, I would like to live there and make it mine. I would like a home. I can't home. stand that. I would that. like I a home. That. Okay. Is it about so, me signing something while you're in Edinburgh? It's not what I like. But the no. thing is, this is the thing, you will never ever finalise this thing. I, why will you not sign that? If you agree with it, why will you not sign it? Well, because you don't trust me. And no, but you, me. you have oh, to well. understand, I'm not bullying you into it. I, when you got married, I said to you how important it was, I didn't tell him. When all those things that were going on happened, I didn't tell him. I did what you asked of me, Mum. I've done a lot for you as well. Okay. So, so you've got to understand... But I did those things. So, but you have to also understand that I can't, I, I have no security right now. And legally, I've got, not got a leg to stand. And if you don't, sign anything. And the point yeah. is, I don't want that house to then be sold because Michelle suddenly inherits half of it. And it has to be. Well, she wouldn't do that anyway. No, you, don't have, you can't say what she would or wouldn't do. The point is, legally, it would be that way and anything could happen. And dad would not want that. I've specifically told you what he said. And you know what he would yeah. want, at least deep down. So what I'm saying, you, you know, just I know that. You, but just come on. I'm asking as someone who is your son and has never, ever gone against what you asked me to do ever, ever. And I kept those secrets for dad's life. And yeah. it meant that I could never finalize it. I'm saying. Well, let me get my head around this, okay? But, I okay, but what I'm saying is, shouting, I'm, no, I'm not shouting, Mum. I'm trying. I'm really, because I'm trying to explain it to you, and you're yeah, not acknowledging not. any of the things you've done. So what I'm saying is, you can have the rest of it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I just want a home. I want it to be that home. I just want it to be over. I want it to be over. I've mm-hmm. I've offered you that you have the rest of it. I've also said we will we will take into account the tax so it's covered in some way. But we do have to bear in mind the rest of that Edinburgh money, which will be about three grand at most, because I will have to pay it back. And also that we give something to Freya. That has to be considered as part of it. Because both of those things are things that Dad wanted. Dad wouldn't have wanted me to be in a situation where I couldn't do Edinburgh. He was going to give me the money. Well, no, I agree. We should have sorted that. Yeah, but we didn't because, we, because, like you said, we were trying to look after him. We did the best. Don't blame me for that. I did my best. You know I did. You really know I did. We've raised over half of the amount. It's not going to be a lot of money, but it has to be accounted. When you bear in mind, I'm only going to get 60 grand, you're going to get over 100 grand out of this directly. And if I ever sell the house in your lifetime, you'd have the value of this flat as well. So you'd end up with the equivalent of half of what probate has said the house is worth, 420,000. It's going to be about half, isn't it? You know, so it's going to be about 200,000 or whatever it is. So, but it means that I have security. I know it's done. I don't have to expect you to do anything else with the money or ask you to do anything else with the money. It's up to you. But ultimately, despite all the things that have happened, it's been honoured in some way. Dad has got what he would want, which is ultimately we both, as you say, are okay. But there isn't this battle, and I have a home. 
I'm so, you know, I'm... Okay, I'm, I've got, I'm I've got I'm 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 Yeah, let but me just think, all right? Okay, but please, un- please understand, just the, as I say, I know Dad died, but he gave it to us. He gave it. So you okay. also could have given it to me. You could have done. I know you won't, but you could do. So this, what, the house? Yeah, because because you've had a house and because yeah. you're my parent, but you don't seem to... I know, I know. You're not doing that. I'm saying you could ultimately have half of the value if you want, but I just want that house, and then we see where we go. Because we have to finalise money stuff, or it will always be this. And and I hope we can fix things, but you will have to acknowledge on some, on some level some of the things you've done to me. But anyway... Well, no, you do have to, Mum, because that's what people do. I've, people I've, do. I've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, okay, but I, I don't know what will happen between us. But no, I, I don't know, but I, don't blame I, me for it. Because no, I, I, I'm not. Do it. I'm no, not. But please, please don't, because throughout Dad's life, throughout my life, I did nothing to make it bad for you. Right. And, I, and I went to all these private therapy sessions, keeping it to myself, carrying the guilt, carrying the pain that wasn't mine. OK, and and it hurts more than anything to be in a situation where I feel like you're, you're actually actively making it worse. I didn't think it was possible. It's happening. It's horrible. Oh, well, it shouldn't be. Shouldn't well, it, I know I, it shouldn't I, I be. Crap. Yeah, I know you do, but that's all you ever well, do okay. is say, what about me? What about me? What about me? No, and I go back that. to, what about that child putting things against his bedroom door in his childhood? You said it was years that, ago. No. I only get one childhood. I only get one childhood. You compromised it quite heavily. Do well, something for the good now. It's sort of worked out. Now. No, no, you're both, you're both, you, yeah, okay, you know your mum treated you terribly. You know it was horrible. You knew it was yeah, psychological sorry, torture. Please. You did it too to me, so acknowledge it. Because, yeah, I as I said that, to you, in the first five years of my life, you were already having an affair. You, you not can't, all of them. No, not all of them, but can you admit to me you were, because you were? Of course you were. I saw the well, rest yeah, of the no, files, I, I was I there. Yes, so, uh, so, so there we go. Not. So maybe consider that you didn't really do things right by Dad anyway, and that, and, uh, and yet he still gave her this stuff, but he didn't know how you mistreated me. And if he'd known, he would have protected me from it because that's what he would have done. He, he uh, would have had no idea. So what I'm saying to you is this could be over. I'm not being greedy. I'm just asking for something that I don't have, have no capacity to have. And I specifically want it to be that house because it was my yes, dad. Because um, it was my dad. I don't okay. want to sell it and have someone else live in it when it could be mine and my children could live in it. And you care about that because you really don't seem to. Think about that. My children, I my have, life. I have. No, yes, I have. Stop, no I you have to do that. something for I, me. I'll leave it at that. But please understand, I want it to be sorted in one way or another, something more secure before I go away. Because otherwise... And you're going away on Tuesday? A week Tuesday. So, But the point is, if we agree on something, if we sign something, we don't have to sign it together. It can be drawn up. You can go and do it. But I have, I have to have some security, Mum, because right now anything could happen. And it doesn't matter what I say to you, because in the same way that Dad said things to me and you think they're not true, nothing can ever be relied on. Because the way these things go... You don't just keep right, the same Okay, words. David, that's it. We're, we're, can we, I'm just getting off the subject, right? Are you, you going, are you taking Elwood to Edinburgh? Yes. Right, and you're going by train? I'm going by train. Elwood is being delivered up there. These are all things that cost money that I'm trying to sort out. Because I don't want to be stuck on a train by myself carrying a lot of cases of Elwood. It's no, so what so, do you, you can go up there and... I'm, I'm paying for a, a company that delivers and looks after um, animals to take him up there because it was the best okay. and least stressful thing to do. But there is so much organisation going on for my life right well, now. I can imagine. I can but imagine. I just want you I to... I do appreciate that. But I also want you, you know. to care and actively care and show me that you care because right now all I'm... I do. No, but I... Not but say, I if don't the person, say, if the person who should be receiving the care is saying he doesn't feel it's there, maybe you need well, to try a bit harder. I do. Maybe, I just, oh, mum, come on. Again, all right. you were there. Yeah. You were there. I was there. I seem to be the only one that remembers all of it. And it was horrible. And it was your responsibility. But mm. I've still loved you. I've still supported you. I never went against it. But now I feel like you were going against me. And you're more interested in protecting Michelle. And you're more interested in looking after your own interests. When I'm saying yeah, to you... Yeah, my own interests. No, but, yeah. Yeah, but what happens... You know, you, no, well, you don't, well, okay, show interest. it to me. Show it to me. Let it well, be over. Well, I likewise, David. I, I, I will. But please Let bear in mind, Mum. You have to let understand, I can't let the past go. It's had it left an indelible mark. That means I struggle every day of my life because it happened during my childhood consistently throughout it. I am trying, Mum. I've been to therapy. I take antidepressants. I do everything I can to fight it. I wrote a show about it. I'm trying to do what I am, but no one else is helping me. You're not helping me. Dad did, and Dad didn't know what was going on. You continued to quietly contribute to it, and right now, 
you're making it so much worse that I'm actually going, I don't even know how we can be a thing because you won't acknowledge it. So do something to make a change. Maybe believe.